Old Trafford, polite inquiries. <laughs> Apoorv says, is this the most inept bunch of Indian batsmen ever to tour England? Since 2011. And Lev oh. says, have the Indian top six been partaking of drug bat? <laughs> that would be one explanation. They seem mentally broken. One theory might be that they expended so much energy on Judeja Gate that they stopped to focus on what was more important. I don't know, since that happened, they've been wretched. I mean, and to be bowled out here, they're mentally beaten, aren't they? It would be a miracle if they won, I think, at uh, the Oval. You can talk about techniques, you can talk about form, you can talk about replacements, but essentially, they just look buggered. Pratik says, why is it so difficult for Dhoni to be a decent test captain considering he's an excellent ODI captain? Let's just focus on his shot in the second innings here. Right. He, there's rain coming. There's like, there's a hurricane coming, yeah? A forecast for tomorrow. And he could have played and for the end move. of stunts. He could have played for stunts. Instead, he came down the pitch and he slogged to mid-wicket. Like, like uh, a f it was a buffoon-like shot, I'm afraid, and it's not the shot of the captain. And he's not keeping well, he's not batting well, and he's not captain. He's well. got a lot of really good qualities, but none of them have been a test captain. Peter said, aren't those funky modern helmets supposed to stop the ball going through the grill? Well, it's an Antec Adidas helmet, and they, they have spent a lot of time trying to explain to people how that shouldn't happen. It didn't look good, did it? So it probably would have been worse with a different sort of helmet. I don't I know. I think it definitely would have been worse the, with the, a different kind of the helmet. The hubris but. of their Twitter account in recent days isn't helping them now. This is why people are slightly angry. Okay, I think we're only in the early stages of helmet design. And actually, uh, it needs to be looked at really seriously before someone gets killed. Jack Mendel says, how much is a slice of Moen Ellie humble pie? I think most cricket fans would like a slice. Do you it's, sell it personally? Ah, uh, but it, I do find it annoying. I heard it today. There were some broadcasters talking about Chris Wokes doesn't have the ball that comes back, which I reckon he's taken about 20% of his first class wickets with. He, he had it when he made his debut. And um, oh, this was a mowing. Yeah, but the point is that they've never seen these guys play at county cricket and they come with their strong opinions and they're talking absolute garbage. Al says, time to dress Coley. Well, come on. We start. We had an argument no. at the start of the series. He and has you to said play. He was great, and I said he was unproven. No, no, I didn't say you he was were great. Now humble pie, Kimbo <laughs> style. Huh? I, huh? he, I put it to you. I wouldn't drop him. No, I think Nor he's an intern. <laughs> well, then shut up. <laughs> well, what will happen is he'll go to India and score lots of runs there, and everyone will forget all about it, and he'll do well in the IPL, and he'll do well in ODI cricket. Well, do, you, do you disagree with that? Well, they wanted to win the World Cup, and that's in well, Australia. That's, and that's that's really important, and, and I wouldn't be that surprised if he did it. He, but if he really he's probably the best one-day batsman in the, world. in the world. I completely agree. But if he's but batting like he is right now, I'm not sure in a, Australia he's going to make runs in the World Cup. Honestly, if he really wants to improve, and everyone knows it, he should spend a season playing county cricket. Honestly. Hitesh says, I thought it was a game of five days. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who's the humble pie now? <laughs> well, it would be if you were playing against a competent batty lineup. Vishal says, should India bring back Stuart Binney? Well, their record since they dropped him would suggest so. Could you imagine if they, this, a selection committee just went, do, do you know what, we believe in luck. Stuart Binney is our luck, let's just rub Stuart Binney for luck over and over again. We'll bring him back in the team. We don't think he's good enough, but we'll bring him back in just to rub Stuart Binney. It is ridiculous that they dropped uh, Sharma and brought back Gambia. I mean, that's just such a ridiculous backward step. Because Rahani should open with VJ, uh, and they should build for the future with people like Sharma in the middle order. Life's good, says. Is it just me that feels that Josh Butler is starting to have a lucrative career? It's an interesting couple of tests so far. He's not impressed massively with the gloves other than athletically. He has had a lot of luck with the bat, but I thought at Southampton he showed he could play a lot of shots, which we kind of knew. And here he showed he could defend. I actually thought mm? India bowled pretty well at uh, Butler and Root at the start of the third day. I, I just always thought that there would be some uh, bumps in the Joss Butler story. He's 23 and he's just started doing the job. I think he's shown enough to be hugely encouraged by him. Black Boyd says, where will or should Pankaj Singh put his 69.2 tattoo? Right here? Well, so it matches to abroad. Baradwaj says, are you guys buying a drink for Pankaj tonight? Sure, a pizza, whatever he wants. I'd buy him everything. It's very unlikely he's going to go to a steak restaurant. I don't know, have you seen the size of him? Achulia. How is you. he? How is he? Is he under a rock fall? He's okay. Is he's, he? he says, who holds the camera when you guys are talking in your show? Hi, Atulia. Isn't he handsome? <laughs> you, you can see why he's that side of the camera, can't you? We'll see you next test.